Okay, so here we are on the Second Life website and we're going to join, click join now to create our avatar. We can use anywhere from 2 to 31 characters for the first name. I tried Ben, but for some reason it wouldn't allow it. So I'm choosing Benj. Yes. So now I need to select from this long list of um, weird last names. I need to select a last name. I chose soup and I've now created my password. So I'm Benj Soup and I have my password. Write that down so you don't forget it. And you can choose a male or female avatar at this point. And they want to know your email address because they're going to ask you to confirm um, that you want to join. So they'll send you an email. You need to click on the link when you get it. And they'll want to know your birth date. So I'm going to be, how old am I here? 1980. I'm going to be 30. Nice fine age. And now this security check. Try and figure out what these words mean. Or what they are and type them in. If you can't, just click try a different one and you'll be presented with a different set of words. Okay, I clicked create account. So it's processing here. And it's got my email. It's actually sent me a verification email to my email account. So I have to go and uh, confirm that. Here's my fresh new email account for Ben's avatar. And it says, Welcome to Second Life. Click here to activate your account. I've done that now. So what you're first present with, um, a bit of an advertisement here to get try and get you to join with a pro account, which is what you want to do if you're going to own land. But if you're not, and you're just going to use it, or you're going to be, you know, attend events, you don't need to pay for an account. You can have a free account. The benefits of a paid account is they give you money. So um, now you go through um, these few steps here to download the software, and they'll walk you through it, whether you're on a Mac, uh, Windows, or uh, Linux. So it tells us that it will start downloading, but if we have trouble to go, go to this page, so I'm actually going to take a look at the page just to make sure, so you can see, just in case you end up seeing this. So um, here it is, it's downloading. Again, it's a .dmg file, so it's for a Mac. Yours would be a .exe for a PC. It's, I believe, about 63 um, meg, the file. I actually already have the software on my computer. I'm just downloading it again. So when I go to copy it uh, to the Applications folder or on a PC to your Programs folder, um, it'll tell me it's already there, but I'll just overwrite it. Okay, so their instructions are to drag the icon into your Applications folder on the Mac. So let me get up my uh, Finder window, find my Applications folder. Here we go. Now I'm just going to drag that Second Life icon into Applications. And it will tell me that I already have it. And I'll replace it. Done. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my software and open it up. Okay, so I've opened the software. Now we're logging in to the virtual environment using our username and our password. We're not logging into the website. That's different. That's where you make your account. That's where you find out stuff. You can actually visit the virtual environment from there once you have the software installed on your computer. But right now we've downloaded the software. Uh, we've clicked on it to open it. We've logged in, 
we're going to accept this at terms of service, which is the EULA, the End User License Agreement, and take a good read. It's rather interesting if you have the time. And if you're a lawyer, you'll love it. And now we're logging in for the first time. We're going to end up on a welcome island, one of the Second Life welcome islands for orientation. There are, I believe, 18 of them currently. That's when I made this movie, that's what I saw. And, you know, you'll be logged onto one of those islands. Once you leave these islands, you can't come back. That's the orientation. It's actually much shorter than it used to be. It used to be about an hour, and I'd say now it's probably like half an hour, if that. So, hello, binge soup. So they say, follow the arrows on the ground to learn Second Life in six easy steps. Okay, I just clicked on my navigation bar at the top right there, just to my right navigation bar, which is my inventory and all the things about my avatar, um, just to see if it registered where we were. And that's my kitty. I'm just clicking on the arrow next to the speak button to see if anyone has their audio set up and I didn't see anyone with their audio set up yet. They would have a green light if they did. Looking at my preferences. That was under me, preferences. Aha, another new person called Emmy. So right now I'm using my Alt button, or on a Mac an Option button, and the left mouse button to move back and forth, what you call zooming in, so it's called Alt Zoom. So I'm using, I'm just moving the mouse forward and backward to get a better view or a more distant view. I'm moving the mouse around, and so this is a shortcut. I see my twin course one of the other default avatars. Hey, you're wearing my shirt. What the heck? Nice avatar, I tell him. I'm chatting in the text uh, chat window on the left there. So that's the public chat. If you type there, everybody can see it. If I want to do a, have a private conversation with this person, I could right click on him and then click I am so to um, sent him an instant message and that would be private. Or I could right click on him and click profile and then his profile would open up on the far right side of the window and at the bottom of that win uh, panel you'll see I am and you could send him an I am that way. There are many ways also through the communicate on the top menu you can see your friends and you can send all your friends I am's that way. So I'm now at number two, the Alt Zoom, what we were just talking about. So the Alt key and the left mouse button. And this is really important for viewing um, posters, if you're at a conference, getting a better look. If you're lazy and you don't feel like walking, which I never feel like doing, you can just um, stand still and Alt Zoom. And to get out of that, you just press your escape key to free yourself from your zoomed in position. Just use the escape. And the chat here, they're going to ask us to chat with this birdie. I could keep walking right into that pond or go over the bridge. But instead, I'm just going to zoom in, practice my zoom, my alt key and my left mouse button to zoom in on the poster so I don't have to bother walking. And it's telling me how to sit. Right click on the chair, click sit here. As long as you're close enough, it will seat you there. If not, um, it'll ask you to move closer to the object. And to get up, I don't know if you saw that, there was a stand button right above the move and view flying the best part. So you'll have a lesson in flying. Uh, on the bottom, right below my avatar there, there's the move and the view button. So for move, 
um, you can also use that for moving around and a small menu will pop up. There it is. So it has flying, left and right. Looking at gestures, walking, and orbit zoom pan. These are the three functions you can do under view. So I zoomed in on him and I decided to take a picture. I clicked that little camera button and I'm saving it as a name. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And so that's great to play with. You know, If you want to upload a picture or email one, they'll charge you 10 linden, which is cents or a cent or so.